That was a blast. Yeah. We had a good time. I went to mom's house last Wednesday and there's a new quilt shop by her. And we went to the quilt shop and we had a really nice time. We did. Yeah. I didn't want to leave. Yeah. You're <laughs> going to probably be there quite quite a bit. I am. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I love your hair. <laughs> well, I'm getting it cut tomorrow, so Ooh. hopefully um, it'll take care of all the brown. I think there That's... might be just a little bit that'll be left. Yeah, that looks like it's like a half inch, like right here. Yeah. Brown. So I got about a half an inch of growth left, but um, it'll. there's like a little tiny bit on the ends back here, but it should all be gone with the exception of probably right around my... Bangs. I love it. Do you? Yeah. I do too. I'm I'm really excited about it. It's very liberating and it's it just feels so healthy. Well you know. Yeah, you're not putting all those chemicals in your hair. I know. So And it it and I don't know how to say this. It makes you look mature. <laughs> no. I mean you do look mature. Yes. But I don't know why. You just look happier. I don't know why. Well, maybe because I'm not working. <laughs> that could be it. I'm sewing and just having a ball with you and, you know, just being creative and yeah. all that stuff. So Okay. But I, you know, I'm, I'm really liking it. So that one of these good. days we'll have to get a picture of mom and me and yes. Tammy, my sister, the three cotton tops and just like put it out there for you guys to see. <laughs> I've got my my growth coming in. See that? Oh, that's barely there. You got that's a long like way. Yours. To, <laughs> you got a long way to go to catch up to me, sweetie. <laughs> but it's yeah. I got my appointment on Tuesday. Yeah, I was not because usually you're doing it like the day before. Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. oh well. Yeah. So let's start because. Um, I think it's worth mentioning where we went last Wednesday. Oh, my gosh. Because that was fun. That was a blast. Yeah. We had a good time. I went to mom's house last Wednesday, and there's a new quilt shop by her. And we went to the quilt shop, and we had a really nice time. We did. Yeah. I didn't want to leave. Yeah. You're <laughs> going to probably be there quite quite a bit. I am. Yeah. <laughs> We met with um, Joyce and her daughter, Sarah, at the Liberty Green Quilt Shop. And they'll open, it'll be two years, I think, she said, mm -hmm. September of October of this year. And it is just a happy place. Mm -hmm. um, the fabrics were gorgeous. I mean, bright, cheery. Um, and she's very much about community, like mm -hmm. you and I talked She's all about community and her connections in where her life has led her and Sarah and just all the wonderful things that have kind of unfolded through their journey with the quilt shop. Mm -hmm. And they are, she's, Joyce is very much about, oh, <laughs> yes. I hope the camera picked that up. That was a good one. My stomach is crawling. That's a good one. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so um, this will be a, a short podcast because my kids had a two hour delay today. It was scheduled. I'm not crazy about two hour delays, but so we usually film at nine. Right. And it's 11. Right. Today we start 11. So, and usually we go out to lunch afterwards. So this might be short because we're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting to hear her stomach start growling. So, yeah. So anyway, Sarah and Joyce. Liberty Green uh, cool. Quilt Shop uh -huh. in Green, Ohio, which is South Akron, Ohio. And um, it was, it's funny because different shops have different themes. Yeah. And as we keep going to them, um, this one, and, and there are so, you know, like a handful of these kinds of shops where it, it, there's a lot of bright colors. Right. And she has lots of bright colors. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's got blacks and whites with them, which I thought was really cool. Right. Like she had um, 
stuff. And, and if you go and watch the video from last Friday, you'll see that she puts the these bright, beautiful colors with blacks and whites. And it was, and it was stunning. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it was really stunning. Yeah. And the other thing to note is if you're looking for children's fabric, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, she awesome. had a ton of children's fabrics mm -hmm. and they were so pretty. Mm -hmm. And there's always a lot of girl fabrics, but she had a lot of boy fabrics yeah. too. So, you know, if you're looking to make a quilt that's for a little boy, Mm -hmm. check it out mm -hmm. um and if nothing else subscribe to her channel mm -hmm. or subscribe to our channel because she's going to keep us posted when sales are happening and we'll make mm -hmm. sure that you know about that mm -hmm. but it is definitely mm -hmm. worth a trip yeah and and kate spain is a designer in um yeah. for moda and there's a lot of kate spain fabric there but they have a really good um kate spain story that they've been friends for 10 years yeah and um, that is a really interesting story that you can go and listen to on our last show. Um, that, that was really cool. And I think, I, I don't know about you, for, but for me, it was, um, it was so interesting to see where their life has taken them mm -hmm. and all the wonderful connections which Joyce talks about in the video. Mm -hmm. And it was it was about the quilt shop, but it was about them yeah. and their their journey. And it, it was so nice um, to bring to you guys a, a different kind of story mm -hmm. to share. Absolutely. And no matter what what um, level you are as a quilter, it is definitely mm -hmm. a, a watch. You mm -hmm. should definitely ch check it out. Yeah, agree. And they don't. They're not a machine dealer. I mean, oh. their mission is to quilts and be a community and um th their biggest mission is making pillowcases for akron children's hospital and ronald mcdonald really, house and, yes and ronald mcdonald house yeah um so uh, really cool really which, fun which uh, just a side note to that um i didn't know that the pillowcases were such a big thing and i mean what a wonderful mm -hmm. um uh thing that they're doing but I, I've been involved with Ronald McDonald House through a friend of mine. Her great nephew had a kidney transplant when he was only a couple years old. So for years now, mm -hmm. I've been collecting the aluminum tabs mm -hmm. on, on mm -hmm. cans. And um, little Gabe takes them down every year, great big bags full of them. And they have a big teddy bear that they put all of that um, in, all those tabs into the big teddy bear and then all that money is used towards Ronald McDonald House. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different charities mm -hmm. and ways you can help with charities but mm -hmm. those are just a couple of different um, ways that you can help with the Ronald McDonald House if you or somebody you know you know mm -hmm. wants Good to. Stuff. Yeah absolutely. Good stuff. So check yeah. them out. Liberty Green Quilt Shop in Green, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Ohio Star Quilts. Right. And so that will be uh, published next Friday. Right. Um, met with mm -hmm. Carol. Met with Carol. And that was a beautiful shop. And what I really enjoyed about that shop was the women there in the classroom. <laughs> oh, yes. They were I, cute. I didn't film them, but when I went back there with my camera, they were talking about um, handsome men in Hollywood. Uh-huh. And when I walked back there, I, I heard them talking about Robert Redford and, like, a couple other men, and and it went quiet. <laughs> when you came in with when the I camera? When I came in. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you girls just keep on chatting. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> they were so cute, though. I wanted to get them, and they... they they didn't want um they didn't want to be on camera they didn't talking want to be about on camera. that yeah talking about that but they were there um sewing quilts uh valor right cool. yeah valor quilts Va but... <laughs> yeah <laughs> Quil uh, uh, quilts of valor quilts of valor for, for veterans that. yeah and there's a lot of ladies there oh my gosh yeah like would you say 10 15 maybe yeah and Easily. i believe didn't carol say they do that like yeah. every wednesday every wednesday they get all get yeah. together yeah and they make them for, like, uh, organizations, you know. Mm -hmm. And then if they know of a specific event that is in need of one, they make them. Mm -hmm. And they d even will deliver them, mm -hmm. too. So that really was cool. cool. Yeah. That, and the quilts are gorgeous. Yeah. They're beautiful. 
And Carol is um, really great. Um, and you'll see this in the video uh, as far as customer service is concerned in the whole shop. But she was a huge help to me during the Christmas holidays with my long arm quilting machine. And we talk about that in the video too. So don't miss that. That'll mm -hmm. be next Friday. Next Not Friday. this coming Friday, but the Friday after. Not today. Right. This That's be, right. Today. This will be published on Friday. Not today. Next Friday. Correct. Yeah. I forget about that. So, yeah, we're back in the groove. Yes, we of, are. Of visiting places. And it's been fun. And you've been quilting. I have. And I, you know, it's funny because I had big dreams of, of making stuff mm -hmm. for today. And actually a friend of mine um, wanted my help with a t-shirt quilt that she was working on for, for one of her friends who was recently widowed. So that's what I've been doing. And actually, we I finished my part yesterday. Did you? But, um, so yeah, I didn't, I don't really have that much today. Well, you been, you were quilting. It's just that you were yeah. doing, helping uh, someone yes. else out that needed yeah. help. Yeah. And it was great because um, on Tuesday nights, it's not every Tuesday, it's twice a month, um, we have a local um, quilt group here mm -hmm. in my town, and I invited her over she never been to the quilt group, Aww. and she's actually widowed a year, maybe two years. Okay. And she came, and she had a great time. Did she? So hopefully Aww. she keeps coming back, and uh, I think she will. She had a she had a good time. So, but yeah, no, that's that's t-shirt quilts are. Um, I feel like I'm getting busier and busier with them. Yeah. And um, the more busy we get, the more the, the long arm machine. <laughs> It takes a beating <laughs> yes. for a machine. Well, you know, I, I've, I've switched to a titanium needle that's really heavy duty. And so it's working better. Okay. So, but it's just that, you know, I have to go slower with it. I can't like zip along like mm -hmm. I normally do. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, they're more time consuming, but the joy that they bring to, from not only the maker, but to who they give them to is just, I mean, you can't not yeah. say yes to doing one. Yeah. And maybe, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe somebody watching could have some advice about, and you know, and I've, I've noticed that the jerseys and stuff are the, the shirts with the real thin thick ink on it that's, that's where the issue is yeah it? it is because what happens is the needle will get gummed up and then it starts to catch and so even though you, I put a new needle in there each time mm -hmm. it's just like because it's going up and down and some of that um what they're using on the t-shirt some of it's great quality and no problem at all and some of it's not as good quality and then it gets gummed up on the needles yeah. and then it causes tension problems so it can be challenging. Yeah. So if you're a long arm quilter and you've got advice for t-shirt quilts, because I mean, I'm like almost to the point where I'm like, I can't use these kinds of shirts. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like a thick latex. Right. Is that, I mean, is that what it's called? I think it might be. It feels uh, like almost like a latex vinyl. I mean, it's. Vinyl. Yes. That's it's what it very, is. It's yeah. very, it is very thick. Yeah. So. I, yeah, I think it is vinyl. Yeah. Okay. So, um. I might get to that point where I'm like, we can't, you know, I don't, I won't include the vinyl right. shirts. The screen ones are fine. Like the, yeah, that's not those a problem. Those are fine. Um, but, but yeah, and actually hers that we've been working on, none of them were that yeah. kind. So I didn't have to say anything. Well, I wanted to bring up uh, the Scouts. We talked um, oh, in our last yeah. podcast about um, the Girl Scouts and mm -hmm. you and your cookie season and the girls. I pick up cookies tomorrow. Do you? I oh, do. boy. Well, I also wanted to mention that I had done a um, Scout um, quilt, long-armed uh, a quilt that a lady, her name was Anitra. And she was making it for her husband. And his birthday is this month in February sometimes. And she said it would be okay if I showed the quilt. So we kind of held off on it because I didn't want to spoil the surprise just in case he saw it. But um, this, I think you're going to insert mm -hmm. the video here. Yep. And it, I kind of walk <coughs> through and show a lot of the different patches of this quilt. Oh my gosh. It is amazing. It's stunning. Yeah. 
his um these are patches that he has collected mm -hmm. they're very very involved with scouts her son is in the process of becoming an eagle scout her daughter's very involved um some of the patches are like i believe his dad and his grandpa's patches there's one that goes back to i think it was 1934 if i remember correctly but um steffi's going to insert the video insert, so that yeah. you can see this beautiful beautiful quilt she made mm -hmm. it's pretty it's it's a very useful tool to um use all of those patches uh-huh in something and then you can display them like you can hang them on the wall or is that what what is she gonna do with hers they're gonna use it because they're so involved with scouts and he is a, a leader okay or very involved and he's going to use that to i think promote um becoming an Eagle Scout and all the things that you can go through. There's several different levels mm -hmm. from what I understand because oh, yeah. AJ's going through it right yeah. now. My son's, yeah, he's first class right now. Yeah, so I th they're going to use that and display it like at mm -hmm. meetings and things like that to help promote mm -hmm. uh, becoming an Eagle Scout mm -hmm. and all the wonderful things that you learn and yeah. um, becoming cool. a person and you know, sharing. And mm -hmm. so I, it was really great. So thank you, Anitra, for letting us uh, put that out there. And hopefully your husband won't see this before you give it to him. I doubt it. <laughs> I, probably uh, not. Probably won't <laughs> He's like, watch it. You're watching Quilting? I'm out of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of scouts, last night we had a big meeting where the bug man came bug and he man. brought a bunch of bugs. Oh. And when I say bugs, I mean scorpions tarantulas oh my and bugs and i held a tarantula no -uh. i did all the kids do it so i had to do it was it like soft yeah it was like pipe cleaners That's oh what was it, felt it? Like. yeah oh. it wasn't bad okay and then he brought um crickets for the kids to eat and the, my kids ate crickets they each had one cricket no way. I'm not kidding you. They actually ate a cricket? Ate, yeah. The girls did. <laughs> oh I don't know if AJ did, but the girls did. Yeah. Oh, um, well, I can see Melissa doing it. They were um, covered in oil, like olive oil. Okay. And they... Wow. Ate them. Yeah. Because Shannon, my co-leader, said, if, you, if all you girls eat one, then I'll eat one. Oh, <laughs> So they all ate one <laughs> to get her. <laughs> I was actually had, I had Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, and Girl Scouts. And I, at, when they were doing that, I was with the Boy Scouts. Oh, okay. Um, in a different location. Ah. Uh, so when I came back, they're like, we ate crickets. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll just hold a spider. <laughs> That's funny. I'd rather do that. <laughs> but yeah, so they, yeah, scouting is, all three of my kids are in scouting. So it's, the things you get to experience. Yeah. is It's so worth it and rewarding and I highly recommend scouting. But anyway, sorry, I digress. That's okay. That's okay. Mm. So, should we talk about this quilt behind us? I love this. I love it. I was um, doing YouTube and I was out there looking at all these, I was looking for something different to make and something that we haven't seen that just wasn't a, you know, squares and lines. And so I wanted, I came across this um, pattern and this is called Cathedral Stars and it is by uh, Donna Jordan of Jor Jordan Fabrics. And they are in Oregon, oh, I believe. Oregon. And I love her videos. I love her and her husband in their videos. I watch them every week. Well, I, this is the first time that I had ever gone on there. And I, I'm in love with them. I mean, yeah. I've seen, I watched their shop. I mean, their shop is amazing. I love how they've got everything um, like separated out. Like they have all the boutiques and then they have like the pre-cuts and then they have by colors if you've not seen it you should really check out their shop her channel yeah. yeah their channel and i mean you can order online mm -hmm. but she i this um tutorial came up and this is designed by her and what i loved about it it looks like it's complicated because it's got the curves in it 
But she goes through and you, you make these strips and then you cut them. And then when she shows how you make the curves, I was like, oh my goodness. So um, it's called Cathedral Stars. <clears throat> it's a free pattern. And there it is right there. So you can go onto their site and watch the tutorial. And the tutorial is great. She makes it look so easy. She does. Everything looks so easy. So I thought, well, I just do like a real quick, because um, my fascination was with the curves, like like right here. How did she do that? And there, and to get this design. So I took and brought a couple of the squares, and I'm kind of disappointed in my fabric choice here because there's a petite here and a petite here, and they kind of like blend in, so it's not that noticeable. I still like it though. Like it. Oh, not, I love it. It's not doesn't look bad. No, at all. But for displaying, it was kind of hard. But there is a batik in this corner and a batik in this corner. So that's mm -hmm. one patch, and then the other patch is just a strip with that same fabric here. There's a batik uh, square here, and then the matching, and then a white square. And this is the curve that is put in opposite corners. Now, what you're doing is you're just taking a white square and all the measurements and the details are in her tutorial and in the pattern, but you can see that there's a white square and you fold it on the diagonal. And you know, this is the bias, so you have stretch. So that's your hint to why you get the curve. And all you're doing is you're taking this and you're sewing an eighth of an inch around the corners, the side, and then down the other side. And if you look at this one on the bottom, you can see I did it in a darker thread, so you can see that there's an eighth of an inch here, an eighth of an inch here, and this is where the fold is. And what you do, because the bias has so much stretch, you can roll that back and then you top, then you go back, you top stitch along this fold, and then she recommended going back along the fold there, just so that it wouldn't be rolling. And when you're long armor, or if you're machine quilting yourself, your presser foot doesn't get caught up yeah, in there. Catch, that's cool. But I loved this. I thought it was so pretty. It was so easy. Yeah. I could not believe how easy it was. And um, the fabric on this, um, the backing is going to be the border, which is over here. And then I'm just going to put the binding with uh, the dark blue. And that's what the finished quilt will look like after it's all long armed. I love it. And I love the colors. It's very trendy. The, the colors are very blues trendy. Blues and grays. Right now. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, I mean, I just love this. And she talks about this pattern. Like I said, it's free. The tutorial, I definitely recommend uh, watching the tutorial, but in the directions, she gives you all the fabrics you need, um, and it, it comes out to be a 70 by 70 inch quilt. Mm -hmm. So it's really a nice quilt. It's pretty. Yeah. And I mean, you could do any kind of variation with it. Mm -hmm. And my mind started going when I saw these curves, because I'm thinking, you know, maybe pumpkins, maybe tulips, maybe you could adapt a pattern yourself to, you know, because I hate doing the curves yeah, in a yeah. wedding ring. Yeah. But why couldn't you do something like that um, rather yeah. than doing the, the sewing the curves? I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm going to have to play with that and experiment yeah, sure. with that. That'll be fun. Yeah. Love it. So. I love it. I do too. I was, I was really tickled about that. I was like. So pretty. And it took a day. It took really? me a day to put that together. Yes. Even with cutting? Yes. Because wow. you're cutting strips and that's all you're doing is you're cutting strips, then you're sewing them together, pressing, and then once you've got your strips cut, then you're cutting them into the sizes you need and then you're sewing those together. And the detail part of it really is just the this, curves. The curves. Okay. So it was really easy. It looks much, much more complicated than it is. But it took me a day to put it the top together. Love it. So if you want to dazzle your uh, friends and family and you want to give them an unusual quilt, that one yeah. there 
kudos to Donna Jordan. Yeah. I love this one. She, if, so mom and I would like to travel and go to quilt shops and like, mm-hmm. that is a destination for me. Oh yeah. It's her place and meeting her and just walking around like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's really, um, a really cool, she's got a great channel and, yeah. and she makes everything look easy. She does. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you noticed this, but I love, I, I'm always fascinated with her nails. She has yes. such pretty nails. She, she always has something funky going on. She probably does it on purpose because her nails so. are in there a lot. Yeah. yeah. And they're so pretty and they're yeah. sparkly. And I'm like, look at her nails. She's got some serious nail art going on yeah. there. <laughs> I hope she watches this and like, she's like, oh, I, yay, somebody appreciates my nails. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Donna. I hope you're watching because it definitely... Mm. Uh, was a great quilt and it was so easy to do and Mm -hmm. I looked at a couple of her other tutorials and I'm sure I'll be doing one or two more of them but I loved 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 it yeah it was fun awesome that was my big thing that I did that's great and Uh, it was only a day that's amazing how about you did you uh do you have a quilt or anything I have one that I pulled out that I want to finish um and I'm just working on the binding now but this is an, a UFO that I've had for a while. It's called Dilly Dally by um, Thimble Blossoms. Camille Ross Kelly, Thimble Blossoms. Oh, cute. So the fabric is Reunion by Sweetwater. So this is, it's an older fabric. Um, and I just, I, it's like for a baby, it's like a, bigger than a baby quilt, but um, I don't know. I yeah, think. I love it. I love your backing on it, too. Yeah. That is really cute. I love that from Sweetwater. Uh-huh. The little, what would you call it's it? It's like, like nautical. Garland, garland? Yeah, like a nautical flags. garland. Yeah. Yeah. Really cute. So I'm just doing the binding now, and I'm hand-stitching it to the back. Uh-huh. But that's all I have. That's all I have to show today. Because I... And I screwed <clears> up my apron, so I'm going to fix that and show it next time. Okay. Well, oh. I have, um, I was, we have, uh, Ron's got his 50-year um, um, class reunion coming up this year. And every year they do a, an alumni dance. Mm-hmm. So um, one of the ladies, um, Terry, reached out and she had seen um, the tote bags I've been making. Mm-hmm. So she reached out and said, hey, Maureen, you know, could I get one of these from you so we could put it in our um, raffle that we have? And they have such great prizes. Not to digress, but one year we ended up walking out with a dog. (laughs) which (laughs) We loved our dog, but it was like, you know, there was dancing, alcohol, and money involved. And somehow we came home with a dog. He's a cute dog. (laughs) Yes, he is a cute dog. So um, the colors... For um, the high school is uh, Perry High School, which is in Perry, uh, actually Canton, mm-hmm. and their colors are black, uh, white, and gold, and they're called the Perry Panthers. So I kind of like, okay, what can I do? So I put this tote together, and I again I use the um, foam, foam, the Pelon yeah. uh, adhesive foam. And I did the gold and white, and I, I found that. this, which I thought was really pretty, and kind of made it a little bit fancier. Yeah. And then inside has a pocket. Clever. So that you can put like your cell yeah. phone, things that you don't want yeah. to lose. Love it. And so I was getting creative, and I thought, okay, what else can I make to go with this? So I made a sunglass case. Again, of course. with the Pelon, love it. so it matches the purse. And I thought, and these are so nice. I love that Pelon foam in there because mm-hmm. then your glasses are protected. Mm-hmm. And then Stephanie's been telling me how easy it is to make these little zip bags, these little mm-hmm. cosmetic bags. So I made a little bag. Cute. And then I put the the chevron mm-hmm. uh, material on the love inside. Love that. So this is our donation to the Perry High School Alumni Dance. Love it. So I had a lot of fun doing it. And I told her, I go, if anybody wants some, just let me know. So I thought it was really cute. It is cute. Well done. Thank you. 
I love it too. It's kind of, and almost it could be Pittsburgh Steelers colors too. I think, Ooh, but could. we're not Pittsburgh Steelers fans around here. <laughs> You make a browns one. Yes, I could. Oh, I love this one. This one here is my hairdresser, Carrie. She loves the Ohio State one that I showed. I think it was in the last podcast. But this one here, she goes, could you do something with puppy dogs? Mm -hmm. So this, I don't know if you can see it very good. It has little puppy paws and little dog bones on it. Love it. And all I did when I quilted it was I did just a diamond shape. And it's so fun on that pelon because... I ironed um, this fabric onto the front side, and then on the back side where the, the pelon was, mm -hmm. I drew out my design right. okay. for the and just quilted it, okay. and then lined it on the inside with the puppy paw print mm -hmm. fabric. And again, mm -hmm. I put two pockets in. Love it. And I made a little. Of course you did. Zip pouch. Nice. Isn't that cute? It is cute. She saw the zip pouch and she said, oh my oh, goodness, I love that. Cute. And then again, it's lined. Nice. And so I showed that to her and then of course I made the sunglass case. Because nice. you find that as you're doing this, like this purse is 15 inches, um, you cut out a 15 inch by 30 inch piece. And there's like 20 inches, the the pelon is 20 inches wide. So you have like five inches mm -hmm. that you can use for straps yeah. or you could use it to make other things. So that's why I've been right. making the, the eyeglass case right. because it just really protects your yeah. sunglasses and stuff. And then she has a whole thing. So I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. So I'm taking that into her to show her because she's only seen like photos of it. And she's like, I love that. Aww, that's awesome. <laughs> so I that's what I was doing all week. I've got a couple other people wanting some tote bags. So I've been kind of working on that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working on a camping quilt that I made, which is really great for our camper. That's, that one's going to be yours? Yes, that okay, one's yeah. ours. So um, when we do our next podcast, I'll probably bring that down and we'll Good. put it up as a backdrop so you can see it. So right. it's made with a, the center is a panel. I used the same fabrics and made a quilt for my brother and sister-in-law for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I wish I had seen the panel because mm -hmm. I would have made theirs a little bit differently, but they love it. So this one here I made and this one's going to be ours. So I'm pretty Good. excited about that. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yay. That's what I did. It's been, it seems like I should have more to show, but it's been like super, super busy. Mm hmm. So, and. It has, yeah. I think. It's, I don't even know what I've been, I mean, other than helping people and scouts, just. Oh, I we think. should do a shout out too for the ladies that um, said hi to us, the knitting ladies. Oh, um, Paula. Pa Paula. That's Paula. Okay. From Knitting Pipeline. Yes. And her and her sister, right? Yeah. Well, I think it's I her forget. sister. Yeah, she said it was her sister, because her sister does the quilting, yeah. and Paula does the knitting. So uh, she said uh, she was on episode five of our podcast, she said. Okay. So thank you, Paula, for giving us a shout out. No, <laughs> we appreciate that. that. I that was that. really thoughtful of you. Yeah. She's got, she's a knitter and a quilter. Right. Paula is. And, um, yeah, she's, she's great. Yeah, they were showing um, some rugs. Her sister oh. was showing some really pretty rugs because I watched their video. Like the, They're, the two and a half, the jelly roll no, uh, like, rugs? No, it wasn't a jelly roll rug. It was, shoot, now I'm going to, I'm. Sorry. <laughs> I can't remember what they were called, but definitely check them out. There, it was a really. I think the the video it's, was number thirty three that they were on. Yeah, it, they they have, she has a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. So check so. them out. They they were doing a lot of really fun things, but they mentioned us in it, and we really appreciate it when somebody else recognizes us. So yeah, we want to reciprocate nice. that and share her. with our folks. I love our community. I know it's we have great. some really great friends and family mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. stuff yeah. so 
I'm hungry. I'm my stomach has been growling so yeah. much. I can't believe it. Yeah. So so we're ha- we have a short podcast today. Well, when you insert the um, Cub Scout or the Boy Scout uh, video, that'll take up a couple extra minutes. And in the meantime, we'll be going to get something to eat. Yeah, so, it's a late day today. Yeah. Thank you all so much for sharing. Don't forget, uh, next Friday, uh, we'll be doing the Ohio Star uh, Quilt Shop, which is actually in the Akron, Ohio area. Mm-hmm. And uh, so don't forget to check that out and see those sassy ladies that are in the uh, Quilt of Valor sewing classroom. <laughs> they were really cute. They were cute. Yeah. And um, thank you for subscribing. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and share buttons. That helps us continue sharing this with uh, all of your friends and family as well. Mm-hmm. All righty. Thank you. All right. Let's go have lunch. Yes. <laughs>